So, Jeremy, just to summarise then, what would be your top three sort of bits of advice, best advice for people um, who are following the standard? Well, these are the, the principles that we've discussed. They're, you know, gather the information together uh, and do your gap analysis. So start from where you, where you are as early as possible. And that's your, uh, your biological evaluation comes from... Uh, your biological evaluation plan comes from the gap analysis. So that's the first thing. Start early, do that biological evaluation plan based on the existing data. Then be careful about how you define your data gaps and what uh, data sets you need to evaluate those because there are pitfalls in some of the areas that people are, are working on. Um, sometimes you get unexpected results. Uh, you, you quite often get unexpected results or, or unhelpful results in chemical characterization and implantation studies. So uh, it's uh, always uh, good to think carefully about what you need to do. Um, and there's nothing worse than, than finding a problematic uh, results from a, from a, um, a study and then realizing that you shouldn't have done that study in the first place because it wasn't necessary. So, um, and then um, when you're analyzing your data, you know, keep an eye on, on what it is you're, you're looking for because you need to define your, your acceptability criteria. That's a part of risk management that you need to define acceptability criteria in advance. So when you've done your, your, done your analysis and you've got all your data together, does that match the acceptability criteria that, that uh, are relevant to the product and the way it's used? 